Hey all, welcome to my channel. I'm Will Wyvern. Today I want to talk about Beltane. Beltane is the Sabbath that's halfway between spring equinox and the summer solstice between Auster and Litha. And it's a time that our ancestors celebrated the coming of summer. For some it was called the first day of summer, for some it's called the coming of summer, however you want to word it. But it was a time our ancestors celebrated the end of winter. The end of snow, the end of ice, the end of darkness, the end of the long nights, and they welcomed in the summer, the warmth, the long days, the shorter nights, the just the prosperity that warmth brings, you know, growing the crops, feeding your animals, tending the herds, just all the things you could do outside because it was warm and the long days, and they celebrated that. And one of the ways they celebrated that was they made bonfires. They would make big bonfires, one on the right, one on the left, and they would drive their herds through those fires. And the symbolic flames, the smoke, the ash was a way that they could cleanse the animals. It was a way they could drive off bad spirits, bad energy, clean the animals to begin the summer, when they went out to the summer fields, they got fatter, they got healthier, they got bigger for the heart, for the uh, upcoming harvest, slaughter, whatever you want to call it. But that was how they celebrated Beltane. It was the end of the end of the winter, beginning of the summer. Now nowadays, not many of us have crops or herds or whatever that we need to go out to the fields. So a way that we can celebrate Beltane is to thank our ancestors to honor our ancestors for the struggles they went through for us to get here today. Everything that they had to go through, everything that they endured for us to be here today because it was a struggle for them. And we can thank them because in my belief, Beltane, like Samhain, is one of those periods when the realms are easier to access. The portals are open, the veil is thinner, it's easier to reach our ancestors and for them to reach us. It's easier for them to give us messages, it's either easier for us to give them thanks and honor them. It's also a time for those creatures to pass through, those other dimensional creatures, fairies, goblins, spirits, whatever you want to call them it's easier for them to come through. And our ancestors did things like leave out little treats for the fairy folk, or they would do things like leave iron outside to keep them away from their homes. It's just, the veil is thinner. Our ancestors believe that, and I believe that. So that's something else you can do. Leave out little treats, you know, sugar treats or milk or honey or you can set out iron or whatever you believe is a protective element to keep away the bad, you know, the impish type creatures that like to play havoc and be just, you know, do things. So that's what I believe. Now, our friends who are below the equator, they're celebrating Samhain. That's the other holiday that I believe is when the veil is thinner. So that's something we can do on both the North and Southern Hemispheres. Honor your ancestors. You can set out two candles, one on the right, one on the left. Go ahead and dance through the candles. Walk through the candles, get on your hands and knees and just kind of crawl lightly through the candles. Some way to symbolize that you're honoring what our ancestors did. Driving their herds through the flames, cleansing your body, cleansing your soul, protecting yourself, asking for your deity to watch over you as you transfer from winter to summer. So that's something else that you can do. And as always, these are my thoughts, my beliefs, my opinions. I just want to give you ideas on what you can do for Beltane. For me, celebrate our ancestors, honor the transition from uh, winter to summer, and do what you can, just celebrate. That's all life is about. Celebrating life, being glad that we're alive, and celebrating that joy. So I wish you and yours a very blessed Beltane, however you wish to celebrate. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, let me know. I love hearing from you guys, and I wish you the most blessed Beltane. Thank you.